By Jesus, she's hot. She's hot, ladies and gentlemen. 38 degrees. That's hot. Oh, Christ. Okay, people, finally found the place. Parked the car. I did have to walk around to try and find it. It's a little bit difficult. I'll explain in case you want to come here again. Uh, because it seems to be very clean and girl looking after it is lovely. Uh, at the present moment, it's 39 degrees. It's hot. <laughs> it's looking hot. So, uh, yeah, a wee bit warm, but uh, <laughs> what do you do? Oh yeah, oh yeah, because we're in Mostar. I'm in Mostar. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to dump this stuff in the room and uh, get my coordinates and then I'm just going to walk around. It's 22 in the afternoon. So, um, yeah, so this is the place. So there's no signs or anything like that there. Now, apparently she did send us up, but I'm literally just after getting here and I didn't check the WhatsApp. Um, purely because there's no roaming here. It's like 40 euro or 30 euro for a gig or something like that. So uh, I only use WhatsApp when I'm on Wi-Fi. Anyway, we're here in Mostar, 39 degrees. I'm at my apartment. We'll chat to you later on. Okay, so this is the apartment and it's a lovely little place. This is really, really nice. Really, really nice. Cannot complain. Oh, my kitchen and fridge and stuff like that. I do have a balcony out here. Keeping the blinds closed because, you know, 39 degrees and all that. Oh, very nice, very nice. So we're pretty much bang in the middle of Mostar. Um, like everything is about, I think the, the, the bridge, Starry Grad, is like two minute walk away. So, cannot complain about this. Very nice sort of balcony. Shame of money here for the night. And uh, nice. it smells nice and clean. Air conditioning will be stuck on in a minute. And uh, yeah. All very modern, very modern, very, um, yeah. You'd pay a sizable amount of money for this anywhere else in Western Europe. But this is costing me the princely sum of 20 euro. It was actually 22 euro and uh, I took out a 20 and was trying to find change. I was going to give her Bosnian to make up the difference. And uh, she didn't even, she just said, no, 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 it's fine. Didn't even ask, just said, no, that's totally fine. So 20 euro for this, for the night. You've got to be having a feckin' bubble. I said bubble at and scarf, a laugh to those of you who don't understand London slang. All right, chat to you later, bye bye. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Starry Most, or the Mostar Bridge. Probably the most famous landmark in, well, undoubtedly the most famous landmark in Mostar. Probably one of the most famous in all of Bosnia. Well renowned um, for its uh, beauty and architecture and historical significance. It was built in, it was finished in 1567 uh, during the Ottoman Empire and uh, managed to stand gracefully as is for 427 years until it got blown up by the Croatian army in November 1993. Croatia. What were you up to? What were you thinking? We thought you were so cool. Anyway, a few temporary bridges kind of took the place for a while, held together with scaffolding and gaffer tape, some cable ties, and eventually they found the money together to rebuild it using original, authentic Ottoman building techniques and materials, salvaging some of the old stone, and I think it was around 2004 when it was brought back to its former glory. Hopefully, it'll last for another 427 years before it's blown up uh, by some AI-controlled bots or something like that. Elon Musk's head or something like that. Anyway, one of the other things this uh, bridge is famous for is people jumping off it. People jump off this. It's 24 meters and they jump. What sort of a gobshite Egypt would jump off that? I mean, can you see that? Can you, can you see who would, who would think of jumping off that?
denied. They won't let me jump. Um, the only people they let jump are those who actually have experience. Um, and uh, so no matter what I try to tell them, I try to tell them about skydiving and racing and bungee jumping and stuff, and they're like, no, 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 no. So, which is fair enough, but you know, you're just stepping off. You're just jumping, you know? I mean, it's not that high. It's only 24 meters. You get into water. But, so what can you do? I said, do a few jumps, high jumps, come back later. But sure, I'm not coming back here again. So anyway, to be brutally honest, I only knew you could jump off it yesterday. I only found out yesterday it could be, that the possibility was there. So if I hadn't read it, I wouldn't have known about it. So it looks like I'm not jumping off Mostar Bridge. And to be pretty honest, it ain't that special anyway. So these lads are milking it, They're collecting money left, right, centre, which is fine. That's their job. Hey, cool. That's God. They've been going on like 10, 15 minutes now. And uh, are they going to jump or not? So the crackets. Um, so yeah, I might just go now because we're going to be either jump or don't jump. Well, let me jump. Let me jump. So I wanted to pay to jump. So Mostar, like pretty much everywhere else in Bosnia, was greatly affected by um, the war in the early 1990s. Though it could be argued that Mostar suffered greater than most, considering it had to endure two wars. Um, the main Bosnian war, where they fought alongside the Croats against the Serbs, and then the actual Croat-Bosniak war, or Bosniak-Croat war depending on which side you're on. Unfortunately, it became a city divided along ethnic lines, and as you can see, Mostar still bears the scars of this. You'd think that after 30 years, some effort would be made to repair or rebuild all this damage, but uh, from what I gather, yeah, politics. Um, yep, the local council or government is still pretty much divided along uh, ethnic lines, and... Um, it seems that uh, the Croats and the Bosniaks still can't agree on everything. And, uh, yeah. Ethnicity and politics. A great mix. England are through to the finals, and I'm a little bit tipsy. Wasn't planned. It's 25 past 12. Ooh, sorry. And I'm um, walking back to my apartment now. 
through the old town. I'm gonna be a bit quiet now because I'm walking past people and I don't want to talk. Hold on a second. So, um, now walking through the old town, back across, I'm gonna be walking across the bridge again. Yeah, no one behind me. Walking across the bridge, seeing what old town lost are, it looks like in the dark at night time. Okay. More people coming. I'm gonna be quiet. Cheers, the hair is making a good appearance there. Hold on a second. I'm back. There's still some madness going on. Oh yeah. People still. I know it's fairly quiet now. People with more sense have gone to bed. Uh, geez, I was going to jump over this earlier. He wouldn't let me. Bastards. You see? My talking shite now. You let me know if I'm talking too much shite, will you? This is where they were jumping off. Yeah. Round so. Boston for a pee. I don't want to fall on my arse and, oh, if you ever come to Mostar, these um, steps, the bridge, wild steppy, right, so yeah, uh, Mostar is a bit boring to be honest, um, becoming a Mostar, I don't know why, it, you know, even the bridge itself isn't, if you're not going to jump off the bridge, I ain't that fucking, so, Sounds like a nightclub down there. I'm walking away. Um, oh, hello, kitty. Oh, look. It's a kitty. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Oh, kitty. There's a cat. How are you, cat? Very clean cat. Can you hear that music? These young ones. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Mostar, I do it on a day trip from Dubrovnik or Split or something like that. Um, really feck what else to see here. That's pretty much unfair because um, I did spend a few days in Sarajevo. Sarajevo rocks. So, like this whole old town kind of a thing. And it's wonderful, it looks beautiful. It's a great old vibe and atmosphere. And it's cracking. Well, I've kind of done a few of them now. And uh, uh, the whole old town. Jeez, uh, do you know what I look like with my hair? I look like, you know, the Oompa Loompas. I look like an Oompa Loompa from a Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Woo, woo, woo. Oompa Loompa. And the color makes me look, face look red. Oompa Loompa. Gary McGovern, Mustard, pissed as a fart. Why is this car reversing now? They'll not be fucking looking at me. A bastard loves you. That's okay, reversing past. They're not after me. Unless they start driving forward. Anyway, um, yeah, so if you've done the old town kind of stuff, like Sarajevo, the old town there, you got that Eastern influence. If that's what you're looking for. Fantastic. So Mostar, maybe I've just been a little bit, I'm a little bit immune to it now. Because this is a beautiful place. Jesus, five minutes now. You're still listening. Right, I'm gonna hang up now. I really am busting for a pee. Right, check tomorrow. Right, tomorrow I'm going to the most boring capital city in the world. Podgorica, Podgorica in Montenegro. It's so boring that even the official Montenegrin tourist website on the front page says, everyone says we're boring, but we're not. There's loads of exciting things to do here, such as, that's not a joke, look it up. So boring, even Montenegro, the official website, tries to tell you it's not that boring. Right. Okay. I'm out of here now.
I've spoken enough shite. Brilliant, Boston, for a pee. Give a country, brothers. Bye.